Hey guys, Eric here with a kind of, well, probably quick unboxing. It depends on how many items are actually in here. Um, if you can't tell, you get to the proper side. I got my freight crate in. And then this month's, uh, I'm not getting next month sadly because I, uh, it was sold out by the time I went to order it. But, um, so this month's crate, uh, this month's quote, there's only one quote surprisingly. <laughs> the first monster that you have to scare the audience with is yourself. Wes Craven. I love that Jay finds all these awesome quotes. I've been watching Johnny's unboxings forever, and Jay always finds the best quotes by the best uh, best people in horror. But you can go to FrightCrate.net, and you can check out Fright Crate Horror on Facebook, facebook.com slash Fright Crate Horror, and then at Fright Crate on both Twitter and Instagram. But without further ado, because I know there's at least a single um, behind the mask item in here, which I'm really excited for. Um, without further ado, yeah, I do have poison on me today. <laughs> We're gonna jump right into the box. All right, I know there was Scream behind the mask and a couple other things in here. But Behind the Mask is, has become one of my favorite horror movies, easily. Uh, jump right in. Oh, as I knock the camera over. Jump right in with the shirt. What is the shirt? Oh, cool. This is awesome. Okay, let me see if I can get the full thing in the shot. It's a Pet Cemetery shirt. That is sick. That's so sick. I will be wearing that. That is so... I really like the detail on this. That's so sick. Oh, that's such a great shirt. I forgot that, um... I forgot that they were in there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Got a little, uh, ghost face himself. And that is a Christmas ornament. That is awesome. It's very cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh no! Oh, my blade broke off. Oh, that's such a bummer. It must have jangled too much in the... The blade is on the very bottom. It's like towards the bottom of his foot. I wonder if anybody else's blade broke off. That is such a bummer. Oh man. I will hopefully be able to fix that. The pin is Captain Howdy. Nice. First you scream, then you die. Let me get him out of the uh, box so you can see, see the detail. That is awesome. Is that? That's all look in the um. Oh wow. This is one. Uh, this is one I was excited for. I will show you the image in a sec, unless it showed up. This month on Fright Crate, we are pleased to present you the celebrity autograph of Nathan Bicell, Leslie Vernon himself, the lead star of Beyond, Behind the Mask, with a certificate of authenticity. And I think... I think Jay might have drawn this himself. This is gorgeous. That is like an autograph that I will treasure. That is awesome. That's just like right up there with my um my Cody Rhodes that I just got about a month ago that is awesome can't wait to find a uh, frame and hang that all right what else is in here we have a Twilight Hotel volume one I really like the art in here and on the cover I've never heard of Twilight Hotel. That's awesome. I will definitely check that out. And then, oh, oh I got a room morgue. Nice. Hellraiser right Returns 30. I look back at horror at the horror classic with Clive Barker, Doug Bradley, Nicholas Vince, and Simon Bamford. Nice. A peek inside the night mind. Vampire, gothic horror comes to consoles. Nice. Reanimating re Amityville. This is really cool. Bear McCrary's Walking Dead score. Nice. 
They must have an interview with Bear McCreary in here. He's super awesome. I've never owned it. I've never um, checked out Room Org before, but I've always heard people talk positively about it. So I'll definitely be checking that one out. That is awesome. All right. Is there? Huh? So I drop the comic book. Is there anything else in the box? No. Okay. Just the uh, exclusive print. Oh, so this is the uh, information. Uh, signed by Leslie Vernon himself, Nathan Basil, Basil, I don't know how to say his name, on a custom print by Freight Crate J. That is, that is beyond awesome. That is definitely my favorite item in the crate. That is beyond cool. Uh, the Pet Cemetery shirt, designed by MonsterManGraphic.com, and that is awesome. Uh, the Captain Howdy, I think... I don't know. I'm curious on whose character that is. I've actually... That's that's an awesome pin. Um, I haven't seen the movie, but I know it's uh, D. Snyder from... Um... Oh, brain. Um... Twisted Sister? Uh, Twisted... Yeah. Okay. Skipping. Anyways. Uh, the Rue Morgue Magazine. Nice. The December... November, December issue. Oh, so it's bi-monthly? That's sick. And then Twilight Hotel Volume 1, Part 1 of 4 of a 4 part karmic, comic, karmic, comic series. It is dark, funny, shocking, smart, and edgy. That is, oh man. And I'm so bummed I'm missing next month because I'm guessing right now that even though uh, Weta has the, the license for obvious reasons and I want to get my hands on one of the, um, one of the, uh, uh, bears, eventually. Um, there's a Krampus item in next month's box, as well as, uh, Night on Elm Street, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, Little Shop of Horrors, and, uh, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. I think that was right before, uh, Jason X. And way before, uh, this is a great crate. Oh, I just realized that, uh, oh no, it is on there, okay. The ghost face ornament. I was about to go, I just realized the ghost face ornament isn't on the list, and that it was, so I stand corrected. I'm getting a frame for this. I am happily getting a frame for this. I love this movie. If you've never seen Behind the Mask, uh, it's a, it's a fantastic horror movie that I would highly recommend seeking out. It's about a decade old at this point, and it deserves a sequel, and he's just... Nathan does a fantastic job as Leslie Vernon, and he is easily likable, and I'm just, I'm really excited about that. That is an awesome, awesome score for the crate. I'm slightly bummed out about this, and the fact that it's broken. I'm wondering if it's, where was the, I'm wondering if it was, um, okay, it is a handmade item, so I don't know if that means that, um, that if it was Jay, or it might have been, um, Darren? I'll have to ask. I'm really curious. But, uh, hopefully I can glue that back together. We're gonna just keep him in here, because he looks kind of cool in here. Uh, anyways. That's it, guys. This is an eight-minute video that is dragging on way too long. So, I'll let you guys go. I will catch you on the next one when I do my unboxing of, um, I just got, uh, I just got the Turbo Kid Special Edition, so I will do the unboxing of that. Thanks guys. Subscribe if you were interested in checking out more of my channel, more original content. It's coming very soon other than unboxings. So thanks as always for watching guys. I will catch you on the next one.